All right, all right, all right. It's about uh, 358, and uh, this pretty much is what it's going to look like, I guess, at the close. I don't think um, much is going to change or we're going to get a dramatic sell off. So we have a high bar, um, good strong bar closing at the uh, highs today. Um, what I don't like is uh, this divergence, um, and this is starting to get overvalued. So we're going to let it keep running, but um, the, the risk in this market it, it is increasing. We're becoming more vulnerable. Um, if we look at, there she is, that's the closing bell. If we look at the 60-minute, uh, we can see the momentum rolling over right here. Um, and it looks like uh, a, double a double top. So just watch it for a break to the downside. Um, we have the feds uh, coming out uh, uh, Wednesday, so tomorrow's probably going to be another choppy day just like today. And then, um, and then uh, Wednesday's probably going to be the, more of the same, and then after that we'll get to see where the market's going to go. So I'm cautiously bullish on the market. I mean, it, this is the trend. We follow the trend. But um, it, we're becoming much more vulnerable. Uh, let's take a quick look at Tesla. Um, Tesla on the day didn't really do much. We're caught in this channel and really there's no move in Tesla until we break this high. We have, uh, we're, we're just in a channel. Figure the channel is going to be uh, the 619 to the 699, which is quite a spread, but uh, that's it. It's just consolidating in there, trying to figure out what it's going to do. Um, on the short term, on the 60-minute, uh, yeah, just a consolidation. I mean, th this is a good uh, reversal. The momentum is up. If you wanted to get involved, you could take a break of the uh, 668, but uh, right now I don't see anything really going on. NVIDIA. No video. NVIDIA um, looks like it's doing a trend reversal. That's a lower high right there. It won't trigger until it breaks that pivot right there. But uh, that's what the dailies are looking at like. And um, on the 60 minute. Yeah, just a consolidation. Kind of neutral in the 60. Amazon. Amazon. Amazon looks like the markets didn't uh, quite break its high. It's obviously uh, bullish right there. Momentum is kind of neutral. If you really wanted to trade this, you'd wait for a break above this uh, its all-time highs. On the 60, more of the same consolidating. You can find an entry right over there if you uh, wish. It's in the channel right now consolidating. Uh, momentum on the 60 is still bullish. Let's not do a tease. We'll go right to uh, AMC. Um, all right, AMC had a good up day, but um, I'm not convinced. It's getting kind of choppy right here. There's no momentum one way or the other. It may enter consolidation, but I would watch this line. That looks like a, uh, um, a micro trend. If it breaks that line, then uh, this baby's going down. Um, the first test would be the 3096, might hit some resistance there, but then uh, then I'm looking for like the uh, 14, 15 dollar range from there. So um, what I think is happening is that uh, obviously the shorts um, were holding out until we got around this area. Um, which um, a lot of uh, traders were considering that too, so held out. So here, I think a lot of um, the more optimistic folk are thinking this is the time to accumulate it, and that's what's caused this little run-up. But um, there isn't enough buying to keep that momentum going. And um, I think that uh, the shorts were anticipating that, and now they could uh, start rolling out of their shorts. They can't get out one, two, three, because that's what a squeeze is. So. You know, whenever they hit these uh, pockets of consolidation, 
they uh, can roll out or um, even put on more shorts. And I think up around here is where they were putting on more shorts. So um, I think um, I think this might be the point where they start uh, rolling out of the shorts gradually, trying to keep everybody um, excited about the security so that they have buyers. You have to understand that you can't get out of these shorts if there's no buyers. You can, but you'll end up um, forcing the price up on your own uh, on your own purchase. I mean, you can't get out of the shorts if there are no sellers. So, um, you're going to keep people uh, kind of just churning around in here. And they'll be closing their shorts. And if we look at it on the 60 minute, it just looks like it's neutral. the 60 you just keep your eye on that trend line but you're in a you're in a pennant yeah we didn't even go with a pennant on that I don't like the way it looks it's too sloppy I would just uh, watch this trend line right here I mean my entry would be at the uh, 46 48 if I was looking to get along this thing Not too excited. Um, the bonds, bonds, interest rates. Um, well, we're still in a downtrend on the daily, but you can see the momentum rolling over. And uh, on the 60 minute, uh, it, it, it's just kind of neutral. So we'll just have to see. And the feds haven't backed off on their purchases, so that's uh, kind of keeping the interest rates down, keeping the price of bonds up. The SPX. So today was a super strong day, and I had um, hoped to see a doji or something. Um, we have a divergence here, but um, this could break through the divergence and keep climbing. One, two, three, four, five. Five consecutive days of highs. We're definitely due for a consolidation. Um, I just want it to happen. That way it's not that dramatic. You, you know, just a little pullback, get the market healthy, and then uh, take off again. But um, I think if we do crack, we're probably looking at about the uh, 4260 or so. I don't think we'll come all the way back to the uh, cloud unless uh, we consolidate out here and then we'll probably touch off right around here somewhere. But this every day of making highs after being off that low, just don't like it, man. Forty-three sixteen is not even a bad uh, pullback. That would be a pretty good pullback on this move. Forty-three oh three, probably more likely around there. We'll have to keep that in mind when we set our income trades. And on the uh, daily, I, I mean the sixty minute. Um, I mean it, it feels like it's uh, a little overvalued at this point. And you can see the 60-minute rolling over. I think we're due for a, 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 a little correction or a little consolidation. The 30-minute, you can see, made a uh, hanging man or a, uh, a um, shooting star. We'll see what goes on there. Um, all the other industries are going to look relatively the same. There's the Dow. Same picture on the, um, on the daily. Same picture on the, the uh, 60. 
Here's the composite. Same picture on the daily. Made a small bar right there. You have the same uh, momentum. Um, stronger suiting bar. Oh, this is the 30 second, really. I, I thought it was the 30 minute. But here's the daily. Uh, the 60 minute right here where my mouse is uh, dancing. You see um, the momentum fading off and uh, we're just in a consolidation. And then uh, for Bitcoin, oh, Nelly. <clears throat> Everybody got so excited because it went up to that 41 mark. Um, this is the break where we said we would take the entry of the 41 uh, uh, 300. Didn't quite hit that. Went 4500. Could hold off another day. Probably break through tomorrow. And that would be uh, your entry point. Not really too concerned with the sell off at the end of the uh, market uh, day. All right, well, that's it. That's a wrap. It's 4 o'clock. If you like what I'm doing, join me every morning at 9 o'clock. Trade live with me. We actually had a nice opening trade today. Made a few bucks. Actually, I think we took two trades today. And um, both uh, trades had uh, two off. It hit two of our targets. And then on the very last piece of our trade, we got out of the break even. So, yeah, you know, the two trades made us money. Um, and then after that, the market died off. But join us every morning at 9 o'clock. See what we're doing. Figure out how we're making money. Make some money for yourself. Um, hit the subscribe and hit the bell so you know when we're up. Hit the like because it goes a long way. And if you want to support the uh, channel, there's a PayPal link um, where you can subs uh, um, sponsor us and send us a few bucks. So uh, it's 4 o'clock or sometime after. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Good luck trading.